everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about mining Ravencoin with a 3070 Ti Founders Edition graphics card. So I do apologize in advance. There may be a little bit more background noise than normal in this video, but because we're mining Ravencoin, the graphics cards do get a little bit warmer. So I do have the fan turned up all the way to 100% on this graphics card and it is contributing a little bit of extra background noise. So I do apologize, but trust me, it is worth it. So let's take a look at coin market cap. Uh, today is March 31st, 2022. The price of Raven is about 6.9 cents, down a little over 1% on the day. If we scroll down and look at the three month, you can see we are off of the high of around 13 cents, right around the time of the halving back in January but we have recovered from that low down around five cents to get back to around seven cents today. All right, let's jump over to Hive OS and let's see why it's worth having a little bit of extra fan noise. So you can see GPU two is the 3070 Ti. Again, it is a founder's edition graphics card. We are getting 41.6 mega hash at 235 watts. So our overclocks were at 150 on the core and 3,400 on the memory. When I started overclocking this, I started at 2,000 and slowly worked my way up and I was waiting for this thing to crash. I'm shocked, I am shocked that it didn't. Uh, I was able to get it up to 3,600 without it crashing, but I didn't see any big improvement in the hash rate, so I did back it off to plus 3,400. Again, to try and see if I could get this thing stable. And you can see I've been running for two hours without any issues. The other thing I want to point out, you know, we are running at 100% fan, but the core clock is sitting comfortably at 57 degrees, or the, the core temperature, my apologies, is sitting comfortably at 57 degrees, and the memory temperature is only at 86 degrees. Now, we do see some fluctuation in the hash rate. So I've seen this go as high as 42. I've also seen it drop down as low as 41.2, 41.1. Um, but let's take these numbers over to what to mine and let's see what the profitability looks like. So for comparison, I'm using Ethereum. Uh, I can get 62.53 mega hash at 175 watts using the latest version of LOL Miner 1.47 and that is the version that has the improved LHR unlock. And for Ravencoin, we're using a 41.7 mega hash at 235 watts. So for comparison, the price of Ethereum today is $3,288. Let's calculate and see what we've got. So you can see that Ethereum right now is only seven cents per day more profitable than mining Ravencoin, which was very surprising to me. You haven't heard a lot of talk about Ravencoin recently. A lot of people have been very disappointed with its performance in terms of its price. Now you can see that I'm mining this at a very opportune time. So we're down to three terahash on the network hash rate, which is down 14%. And it's driven the yield up to 49 Ravencoin per day. So let's take a look at that yield. If you can get 49 Ravencoin per day, you're bringing in 1,470 Ravencoin per month. If you're a strong believer in Ravencoin and you think that this price is going to, to go up in the future and you can mine 1,470 Raven per month, then this might be a graphics card that you wanna take a look at. Now, I can't speak to the performance of any other 3070 Ti's. Again, the only one I have is the Founders Edition. So others may or may not be better or worse. I don't know. Um, I can only speak to the one that I currently have. So again, uh, the yield is quite impressive at the moment. The profitability uh, is quite impressive at the moment. And let's jump back over to Hive OS one last time and let's take a look at the efficiency. So our efficiency is going to be 41 points. We'll use 41.63 at 235 watts. So we're at a 0.177 efficiency, which isn't really that bad 
on Ravencoin, particularly with uh, with his 3070 Ti. I expected the efficiency to be much lower. So, all in all, I am very impressed with this 3070 Ti on Ravencoin, both in terms of the hash rate, the efficiency, the coin yield, uh, and the profitability. So, just uh, wanted to get this out there. Wanted to share this with everyone. If uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Give us the like. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified of future content. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch the video today. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.